So surprise, surprise, the Fed ended up keeping rates unchanged. And joining me today to talk about the market's reaction to this is Alan Valdez. Alan, thank you again for joining me. Uh, thanks for having me. <laughs> Absolutely. So how is the market reacting to the news? Well, you know, good news, sometimes people sell off. So we're seeing a little sell off here, nothing major. We're down about 70 points at the moment. But, you know, I wouldn't be surprised to see us close, maybe flatter, just down a little. We're coming into the end of the quarter, end of the half. So a lot of guys, this could be the best news we get the rest of the summer. So a lot of guys are selling off. They're locking in their, their positions right now. They've had a great year in only six months. They'll be back in September. I think you'll see a very slow but volatile July and August. The Fed speak again in October. That's going to be the next big date. So it seems as though, to, uh, compared to a lot of the traders I have to talk to down here on the floor, it wasn't really surprising the news that ended up coming out. Did we learn anything new from the Fed, or has it been kind of just the same discourse that they've been using from the past meetings? Same. And nothing really new. I mean, they keep saying they want to see unemployment get down to 6.5%. That may happen in 2014. So I think that's the, the model they're going to stick to. That's the wording. And I think probably in 2014, you'll start to see them taper. But here's the only thing. You remember, Bernanke looks like he's going to retire. So he's got a legacy issue. The question now comes, and we don't know if it's being answered right now, is, in fact, his legacy going to be that he passes this on to the next head? We don't know. So I believe that you'll see a really definite change of policy in October before he does leave because he's an expert on depression. I don't think he wants to leave it to say this Janice Yeltsin or something. I think he's going to address the problem before he leaves. Now speaking about Bernanke's legacy, was it surprising to you that Obama came out a few days ago talking about he could have possibly been staying too long in his current position given the fact that the meeting was going on yesterday and today? Yeah, I was a little stunned to hear that wording, to be honest with you. Uh, I mean, he was a champion at Bernanke earlier. I, I was surprised to hear him say such a statement. Uh, I, I, on the other hand, think he's done a great job. I mean, he's kept inflation low. We're definitely the best market in the world right now, even though we're growing sub 2%, basically. Uh, he's kept things going strong. We are got slow growth, but he's done a great job. And finally, the next meeting will take place in September. Is that the big meeting that we should be focusing on? Yeah, I think that's it, because that could be Bernanke's last meeting. Uh, that could be the one where he sets his legacy. And I believe that's where we're going to hear more of the tapering when it exactly takes place. So I think that's the meeting everyone's a key on.